quite a bit. I don't know. I think I knew at one point, but it seems like it's a pretty good investment. Other than I, I know I have not I invested in any turf, although I wouldn't, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. Easy to mow. <laughs> Here's Jepson, sure. handoff. Tackled by, oh, no tackle. Wow. He, he snuck out of it. I'm surprised he didn't blow that dead. Yeah. That tackle was almost made there by Jerem Ball and, and the Muley Bear. But, uh, nice little breakaway there for a six-yard gain for the Bears. I'm not, I'm not sure how many people could say that they broke away from the Muley Bear. <laughs> no, that, you know, I mean, the Muley Bear, he's got the speed of a deer, the strength of a bear, and the hair of a Greek god. <laughs> Josh <I> Criddle, <laughs> the Muley Bear. I kind of want to make like a sticker, like a lice, <laughs> like a bumper sticker that says, I escaped the Muley Bear. <laughs> <laughs> give it to any player that like break that gets out of one of his tackles. He might give away one all year, this one. Jepson picks up a couple, up a couple yards, tackled by Jet Salmon. Do you think... Uh, Spain will toss the ball to the Muley Bear this half. You know, Let that, him rumble down that, the field. That might have been my one disappointment from the first half. I was so excited to see him back there, and you know he did a good job, but we didn't get to see a we didn't get to see a pass to him. We're in the third quarter. Third down, three yards to go for the Bears. Jepson pass. Oh, incomplete. Kind of broken up. Gunnar Lish kind of tied up yep. the receiver, number 11, Roberts. Jace Roberts, and the pass was incomplete. Yeah, definitely a rushed pass there by uh, Bear River quarterback, and out comes the punting team. Peyton Brooks deep to receive for the Trojans, number 16, along with number 22, Gunnar Lish. Morgan is in their white uniforms, trimmed in maroon, maroon helmets with the numbers on the side. I love it. Do they have the numbers are on both sides, right? Uh, no, I think the other side's a charging oh head. Neat. Yeah, that's the nice best way kick to do it. there. Fielded by Brooks at the 30. He's up at the 35, 40, he 45, 50. Just go all the way. Oh. Brought down at the Bears' 41 yard line. I kind of keep getting my hopes up. I see it kind that's of a 30 yard, 29 yard return there by Shifty. Oh, yeah. What, what year is he, Junior? Number 16, Peyton Brooks. He's a senior. Oh, okay. He also plays wide receiver, returns kicks. Sweet. He's shifty. Does he, he sure play is. basketball or no? No. I didn't think so. Looks like the same starting lineup that we had in the first half, although I see number 50 is in. No, he was in. Isaiah Henselwood. He's an offensive lineman, sophomore. Yep. Here's Despain in the shotgun. Quick pass out to Tate Nelson. Picks up 5, 10, 12. First down Trojans. That's a Ben Brown first down. He's probably had as many receptions as any receiver tonight. I mean, Gavin's had the most yards probably, but Tate, that's Tate's been targeted. Tate, that was his second reception. He's oh, caught was? both. First one was for six yards. This oh, one okay. was for 12. Maybe I was thinking of someone else. We're almost into the Maroons zone by Mountain Green Dental. Here's to Spain and shotgun. Hand off to Salmon. Shoots up the middle. Hensel Wood with a nice block. Brought to you by Northern Utah Dermatology. Wear your sun block, Carter. Yep. Hensel Wood had a nice block there. Is that a four yard gain, Carter, by uh, maybe yeah. Salmon? Seems like they're kind of kind of containing Salmon a little bit this half compared that's to the his, first. That's his eighth run, the first of the second half. Second down, six to go. To Spain back. Is that in trouble? Tackled. May have picked up a yard. Yeah, looks like no gain on the play. Brings up third down. This camera angle we're seeing right now is brought to you by one of our friends and principals of Morgan Sports Network, David Halls, uh, is on the field camera today. We appreciate him. Here's to Spain, rolls back. Gets a pass over to Nelson. Cuts in. Oh, oh yeah. he's fast. He's shifted. Oh. oh. <laughs> breaks some ankles and then goes down. Surprised this ref and let him keep going <laughs> after he fell down. A 10-yard ten, ten pickup there by Tate Nelson. Flag on the play, Carter. Might be a holding. Might be a hooked up holding. If, the, if this is on the Trojans, it's their first penalty of the game. That's one thing that uh, Josh Criddle mentioned to Patrick Carr of the Deseret News that he wanted to clean up some of the holding penalties that happened last year. Okay. It yeah. seemed in the first half they did that. Those just really hurt. Like, there's nothing worse than like having like a 30-yard completion and it comes back for holding, or 
or something like that, you know. The refs are trying to decide what to do here. They're talking to Bear River, talking to the Morgan coach. Coach Barlow is finding out. He's pointing. We're not sure what. He's not mic'd up, so we don't know what he's saying. Carter, should we open up the text line? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's give it out one more time yeah, since ahead. I only got a few texts. I'll read them here in a second, though. So it's 801-829-8137. Say that one more time. Okay, so it's 801-829-8137. And um, about 30 minutes ago, we got one from... It's an ineligible receiver downfield, Carter, by on the Trojans. Uh, Five-yard penalty. Uh -oh. Replay the third down. Must have had too many people... Sorry, what was the first the text you had? So it was Trojans are looking good. Watching Cooper McGiven. Thank you for streaming. Much appreciated. And Co yeah. Cooper McGiven, number 53. He's an offensive lineman, starter. He's a junior. And we also got one from someone saying, we've watched Morgan for years. It's a great team. Watching senior Cole Kill. Hope to see him at the next level. No doubt we will. Here's Despain in shotgun back. 12 yards to go. He's looking. He tucks. Got Gavin. Throws Ooh. it over the middle, and it is caught at the one yard wow. line behind the by ref. Gavin yeah. Turner what a play there by the Trojans that was wow. beautiful Nick threaded the needle for a 29 yard pass to Gavin Turner that was clean oh, that might be that very clean <laughs> <laughs> that was almost as uh, the touch free bay at Morty's car wash <laughs> first and goal on the one yard line to Spain to Salmon Got it. Plows his way in. Welcome Touchdown, Trojans. Welcome to Morgan, Utah. Picks up a nice block from Cole. Salmon. From Cole uh, Keel. Oh, nice, yeah. He, he followed Cole right into the end zone. Now Cole's got his helmet off. He's he does. I, his helmet flew off. <laughs> He's feeling it. That was good. You read a text from one of his fans, and he had a nice block there for a touch, and it caused uh, Salmon to get a touchdown. Yeah, that's sweet. Do you know what that block was sponsored by? Uh, Northern Utah Dermatology. That's correct. I'm getting it down. Remember to wear your sunblock. Northern Utah yep. Dermatology, Dr. Daniel Hansen. He's a Morgan County resident, lives in Mountain Green. I'm one of his patients, Carter. Yeah, me as well. He's done a good job. The point after is good. PAT is good there by uh, Bo Johnson. Score of 30 to 0, 8 35 left in the third quarter. That was Salmon's first touchdown as a Trojan, West Carter. Welcome to Morgan, Jet. Jet Salmon, he's carried the ball nine times for, I can't read my notes, <laughs> 60 yards on one touchdown. That's wonderful. And they ask, they ask for about three yards to carry, two yards to carry, or three, and he's averaging over six. That's pretty good. So that are you liking that pass where Nick just threaded the needle into Gavin and Gavin? I don't know how he snagged that. That was very clean. The best part Morty's was Morty's clean. Yeah, the best part was behind the ref. You know, like Gavin probably didn't see it for a second because like the ball went, like he had the ref right in front of him. You know what I'm saying? I do. So that was impressive. That was crazy. Very clean. Very clean. I've I've noticed that, uh, and we're talking about Jiffy Lube, one of our other sponsors. They're located in South Ogden and on Riverdale Road. They're locally owned and operated. They are sponsoring our Jiffy Fast. I think Morgan's offense is Jiffy Fast. They're not huddling. They're just, they have their wristbands. It's uh, beautiful. Jack Despain showed me his wristband and I asked him who came up with the names of these plays and I said it was Coach Millward. I said, oh I yeah. want to be involved in that <laughs> next year. <laughs> I like the names of some of these things. Yep. They had about 100 plays listed. Was that enough? I mean, after all, like, the modifications you can do to all of them, there's probably, like, a thousand, but <laughs> <laughs> it's good, maybe not How many do you really use? I don't know. I is mean it hard to read? As a quarterback, you did you have the wristband with the plays listed? Yeah, it's crazy how much, like, I've, like, forgotten since then. Like, I feel like even last year announcing, like, I almost, like, knew more than this year, just, like, with a year kind of being out, another year being out of it, but. Hand off, tackled by Jaron Ball, assisted by a lot of his friends. No turnovers yet in this game, Carter. Yeah, I know. That, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty uh, abnormal. I have to. I have to come clean and say I'm. I'm liking 
Sean Moore as a potential candidate for a player of the game for Morgan. I like that. He's playing on the end of the defensive line there. Yeah, he looks like he looks like a natural out there. I interviewed him on Monday at practice and and he's tall and just rock yeah. solid. Probably has zero body fat. Solid muscle. Wait, his last name is Moore? Yeah. Is that like Cade Moore's sure brother? Sure is, yeah. Well, Okay, you want to hear something crazy? I didn't even think of, maybe I was subconsciously thinking of his name, but yeah. looking at him, I go, wow, he looks a lot like Cade Moore. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Well, that would explain a lot. You can see us in your screen here. Carter and I are up on the top. Uh, we're getting some shots from the other side there a, few, a second ago from oh, nice. David Halls. We're in the third quarter. Morgan's up 30-0. to zero. This is the season opener for both teams. Another flag on the play, a false start. I'm curious to how tall um, Riker Jepsen is, the quarterback for Bear River, because like he doesn't seem super tall on it. I mean, our line is huge. Like we we're talking about the Moore kid. Like, I don't yeah. know how he would see anyone. You <laughs> know, what I, like, I, I, know I really Moore don't know how. Moore was six three, six four. I mean, he was tall. And yeah. I, Cole Kiel. Uh, yeah, he, like they're I mean, huge. I mean, he's offensive line, I know, but we have all these linemen that are very tall. Yeah, for sure. Like solid muscle too. Oh yeah. Look like we all we all know linemen are bigger, but like I feel like the best linemen are also tall. It's a handoff hit by Wheeler, he breaks free. Like you see those guys in the NFL, they're like, they're all probably over six feet, and like three hundred something pounds. The, the quarterback Jepson for the Bears, Carter. I'm talking to Coach Way. He said he spent a lot of time in the weight room. Oh He's improved cool. his speed, his strength. He also plays some um, in on the defense. He's a D back a little bit. Yeah. I haven't noticed him playing on defense. I know he's. I haven't There's either. a punt, oh. almost blocked by Jimmy again. Gunner clears out, lets that one roll. Takes a Bear River bounce to the. Morgan 45 yard line with 649 remaining in the third quarter Morgan will take over on the 45 yard line or 46 according to the PA announcer this PA is pretty good it's very good upcoming schedule next Thursday we will be live streaming the JV game and the freshman game at Morgan I from Morgan High the JV team will play Viewmont. The freshman team will play Mountain View. 5.30, is sorry, 3.30 for the JV. Is this the week we play Pocatello? No. Wow. Nice there pass we go. to Josh the Muley Criddle. Bear. Oh, look at him. They can't get him down. It takes four bears to bring down the Muley Bear. I love that. That was awesome. Great pass by Nick Despain, too. He had so was. much forward momentum there. Totally turned his body, you know, really just like, G gave everything he had into that and put it right on the Muley Bear's chest. That was that was awesome. How far was that pass, Carter? Well, we were at our 46, right? Yes. And, uh, Here's to Spain. Hand off like to number 28 down yards. the middle. Let's hand off to Porter Anderson Wait, running no. back. No, like 30 yards. I Eight can't do math. I'm just Porter a plumber. <laughs> You're not. You're a <laughs> smart guy. <laughs> I just like to that. That was Porter Anderson that had that run there. Let's keep our eye open for some new players that may be in the game for the Trojans. Gilson and Turner are in. Handoff to Jimmy Savage. Goes around the corner. Gets a first down, a flag on the play. over 30 yards on that pass to the Muley Bear, but it was a great play. Yep, yep. Love seeing it. If you're not gonna cheer, go sit with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving the Bear River student section. Uh, penalty was on Morgan. Their second penalty of the game. Oh, I didn't. Did you see the signal, Carter? I wasn't watching. No, I've been paying attention to the Bear River student section. <laughs> it's a 10-yard uh, penalty. 25-yard line. Second down and 12. Second and 12 for Morgan. They're almost into the. Mountain Greenell Maroon Zone. Here's pass complete to Lincoln Gilson. Gets it down to the 10, 9, 8 yard line into the Mountain Green Dental Maroon Zone. Right 
It's a 17 yard gain there. Nice reception there by, by Lincoln. Morgan, first and 10, oh sorry, first and goal from the eight yard line, possibly the nine. First and goal from the nine yard line, here's Despain, handoff, Porter Anderson, picks up five, down to the four yard is, line. Is Porter Anderson, is he a junior or senior? He's a senior, That's running back, thinking. yeah. I remember him in the JV games last year. He's uh -huh. so fast. Yeah, he's awesome. He's like my favorite. He's exiting the game. Another flag on the play. Gavin okay. Turner back in. Wait, who's number seven for Morgan? Jimmy. Oh Jimmy yeah. Savage. Yeah. Why did I think he was a senior last year? <laughs> kind of hard to boy. keep. Kind of hard to keep that straight. Yeah. It is. Yeah, he does. He. He could have been a senior last year. Morgan like has it. a lot of depth on the sideline this year. They have yeah. 19 seniors. Let's see what the call is here. Morgan's retreating as if it was on them. Yeah, what's what's the whole program's uh, numbers? I was holding on the Bears. Oh, wow, we're going forward. Possibly declined. No, they did half the distance, so balls on okay, the three-yard yeah. line. Morgan has on this on the sidelines 134, or on the on the roster, yeah. the varsity roster, 134 players, that's awesome. which includes, no, that's the whole that's the whole the deal, program, including yeah. the freshmen. Okay. Freshmen have 54 on yeah. the team. There's 40, 43 sophomores, 18 juniors, and 19 seniors. Yeah, I was talking to my dad because he's coaching my little brother Will, and he's like, "Yeah, we have 18 players on our team." I'm like, "I can't even imagine a football team with 18 players." <laughs> I'm like, I'm used to having like, you know, 134, you know, it's like a whole, it's so fun. It's like Spain the best. handoff to Savage, swallowed up by the Bears defense. No gain on the play. These new lights that Bear River has are very nice as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sun has set here in Garland, Utah. We're at Bear River High School. School is still two weeks out. Here's a handoff to Aben. Yep. Touchdown, Trojans. Off to Austin Aben with a touchdown. touchdown. Three yard Trojan. touchdown run. Four minutes and 19 seconds to go in the third. Austin Aven with his first touchdown of the season. That was great, he's, he's quick. One passing touchdown this game, Carter. Yeah, it seems like we just like get the ball down real close with a pass and then run it in, which is just all right. Here's a, an ES Solar extra point attempt. Hold is good, kick is up, and it is good. So Ty, when do they do like the re recalibering of the uh, like the 4A, 3A, all that kind of stuff. Is that like is that next it's year? It's every couple of years. Yeah, I think I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, we'll try yeah. to like, gather that information for our next broadcast. I'm not sure. I want to. I want to say it's every. It's not every two. I don't know. Maybe I, I can't remember. I have a feeling it's next year though. I would really like to go to 4A if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think Morgan could compete. There's no. Oh, way. they definitely could. We'd we'd play a lot of Logan schools, and Bear River and. Uh, you know, Juan Diego would be there, right? Juan Diego is in our region this year. Oh, they 3A are. 3A and the 3A oh, North. Yeah, basketball. So basketball, they're 4A. I don't know why they do Layton that. Layton Christian is 4A this yeah, year. Basketball. Yeah, they went from 2A to 3A to 4A. They won the state championship in 2A, then in 3A. <laughs> now they're going to 4A. So. Yep. Layton Christian is really good at basketball. Yes, they are. So, Carter, did you have any other uh, fr of your friends text you on the text line? Yeah, my uh, my little brother's uh, friend, Seth Compton, he texted me and said, we are watching it from the car. <laughs> All right, Seth, welcome. <laughs> Will and Seth, thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Bo with the kick into the end zone, and it is touchback.
should have a rolling clock here, Carter, in the, the fourth quarter, up okay. by 37. Yeah, what's the rule there? Is that I think it's up by 35. Okay. We appreciate those of you who are watching the Morgan Sports Network. There's a nice shoestring tackle by 25. Morgan's number 25, Rhett and I. How much did how much did he play last year? He uh, played quite a bit. Quite, oh, he did. Okay. Defense, yeah. okay, that's cool. While you're talking, I'm going to look up his stats from last year. All right, great. It looks like we got uh, Bear River, t uh, three receivers to the far side of the field. Two receivers to the close side. Looks like we're going to have a passing play here. And a little screen. That was a great drawn up play, actually, for a good few yards. Possible first down. Clock will run. And in comes uh, Jimmy Savage and, and friends, since I don't know numbers yet. <laughs> Rhett and I had seven tackles last year. Okay. Number 51 was in the game on that. That's Nick Priest. He's also a sophomore. He was in on that play. Number 51, Nick Priest. Watch for him this season. Number 23 is in for the Trojans on defense. Titan Willis, he's a linebacker, junior. Fake handoff, pass over the middle to Marble, complete. You know, that's, pr that's probably one down. of my favorite uh, football plays right there. Uh, the It's called an RPO, the run pass option. So the quarterback there is uh, holding the ball out in front, and he's watching the linebackers, right? And if linebackers are coming in, he's dumping it over to the top like he just did for a first down, which is super nice heads-up play there by Bear River's quarterback. And obviously if the they drop back into pass coverage, you just let the running back keep it. So. Hand off to number eight, round tackled by number 23 oh, on the Trojans. Probably going to be a face mask. Titan Willis. Titans fast. You smelling this kettle corn, Carter? I am. Making you hungry for a bacon bomb. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's on the Bears, Carter. They're they're oh retreating. Really? Oh, they've, they've had a lot of penalties today. They just threw the flag right at the tackle, so I figured there's, like, not yeah. much else it could be. But Let's see what the white hat has to say here. Did he give the – It's a 16-yard penalty, so. Holding. It was holding on the Bears. I have them down for eight penalties, Carter. Okay. Trojans have two. They have a, a five-yarder and a ten-yarder. Two minutes and seven seconds to go in the third quarter. Jepson takes a snap and takes off. Wow. Picks up about 12 yards. Yeah, he saw the hole and he hit that quick. Number 33 in for the Trojans now. That's uh, Triker Jones, a defensive back, a junior. That's great. Number 55 is in for the Trojans. I apologize, I don't have his him listed on my roster, but Who? He's number 55 is okay. in on the Trojans. Second down, 12 to go for the Bears. Jeps, oh, that's whistled dead. Flag on the play. Alt start. Never doubt Daniel's predictions, Carter. He predicted the girls' know. soccer game against Judge. Perfect. Three to two. Morgan won. Morgan's in girls' soccer. They are two and one. They've they've had a win. Two. They beat Roland Hall on Thursday. Yesterday mm -hmm. had a nice win. Two to zero. Maddie the Wall Wings guard with the shutout. That's what we like. If I didn't know any better, I'd think Daniel had a crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just like purposely is like kind of off sometimes just so we don't like start like getting suspicious. I like that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised either. Daniel is so smart. He's a valued member of the Morgan Sports Network team. Pass right. complete and tackle made by the Trojans. 
Or if you're aware of Back to the Future, he had the he has the sports almanac. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> for Morgan. Yeah, that for was Morgan. Brogan Garrett in with the tackle there. Third and twelve for the Bears. Thirty-four seconds to go in the third quarter. A Banderton in for Morgan, number thirty-eight. Here's a pass. Wow. Caught. Yeah, for a first down for the Bears. There. Great play by Jepson. Nice catch by Jace Roberts with the catch there. Looked like he had glue on his gloves. First down for the Bears. Uh, Jepson's having a little bit more time, it looks like. Uh, Nick Priest back in for the Trojans, number 51. Sorry, oh, nice. Carter. Oh, you're good. I was going to say, he's having a little more time now. The, uh, he doesn't have Ty Wheeler running at him, right? <laughs> yes. Makes it a little different. Number 34, Ethan, Ethan Pace is in for the Trojans as well. That's the end of the third quarter. Morgan, 37, Bear River, zero. I'd like to just take a minute and thank all of you who are watching the Morgan Sports Network. Our team includes myself, Tyler Quigley, Mike Despain, David Halls. David Halls is the mastermind behind our new website, which will continue imp to improve and offer player rosters for those of you watching at home. We'll get those in so you can see what number the players are. Ryan Turner, Dylan Despain, and Austin Barlow are producing today. Carter Thackeray is my broadcast partner. Hiram Graham is on our main camera. Sam Halls is doing our scoreboard. Ben Brown is one of our photographers. And last but not least, Daniel Moudreau is our stat man extraordinaire. This is a labor of love, and if you feel so inclined, you can right, donate to the Morgan Sports Morgan Network. If you go to our website, morgansportsnetwork.com, you will find our Venmo. We accept donations. It allows us to pay our student staff and increase our ability to have the equipment we need to do these broadcasts so if you feel so inclined to make a donation we're open to having you do that we'll have our venmo a qr code up on the screen here momentarily and you can scan that if you'd like ethan pace with the tackle there for the trojans it funds it so when we go to ogden and we lose all of our equipment we can <laughs> yes. you know keep keep fine we need to replace that tent that was mike despain's personal tent so <laughs> we need to it was actually a commercial grade it wasn't oh like really? a really cheap pop-up it was a a really thick tent. Kind of folded like it was commercial grade. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't but commercial I mean, grade. I think when, we, when you're in like a little tornado yeah. <laughs> and lightning is, and you see the fear of death in Iron Bodies, <laughs> you know there's a problem. <laughs> we were just hucking our equipment down into the booth I know. through their little uh, porthole there up top, and then yeah. we got down there just yeah, so I, I lucky, quick, happy I to be alive. I know, right? I quickly volunteered to be the guy that went in and <laughs> received all of the equipment. Smart guy. <laughs> I told you you were smart. Yeah, sure. Is this Robins? Is this would this be considered well, Robinson Way Services junk time? Not yet. Very much so. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'd say whenever there's a rolling clock and we don't know the numbers, it's kind of about what it goes. Titan Willis is in for we the Trojans. We also. love the waste time though. It's fun to see the younger players get in. It's very good. Lincoln Gilson is in on defense. I kind of nice feel bad see. calling it waste time, <laughs> but it's <laughs> funny. It's a and Jepson, Jepson the keeps the ball, is run out of bounds by number 23, Titan Willis. Second down. Five to go. Jepson passes backwards to number eight. He's being chased by a bunch of Trojans and is sacked. You know, I bet you could do like a, a, a social experiment here. What I've noticed is I feel like every time Jepson licks his hands <laughs> before he takes a snap, it's a pass play. Really? Yeah. That's that's very ob observant, Carter. Good job. Thanks. That tackle in that pursuit was by number 51, Nick Priest of the Trojans. Sophomore. Third down. Four yards to go for the Bears. We're in the fourth quarter. Morgan's up 37-0. All right. He didn't lick his hands. I bet it's a handoff. 
Oh, no. Nope. Oh, I'm okay, wrong. Well, <laughs> throws it touchdown. to the end zone. Has his man wide open. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Bears. No other than Marble. That was Talon, Talon Marble, Marble with the touchdown. Fabulous athlete. GTG, go-to guy. <laughs> or it could be known as got to go, but. Do you think that uh, the Trojans knew that Daniel predicted 40 to 7? Probably. No, I know. think he just has the sports almanac, honestly. <laughs> he does. Well, let's see if this extra point's good. That was a 30-yard pass from Jepson to Marble for a touchdown. Yeah, it seemed very routine. It was a good play from two very good athletes. Yep. Extra point is up and good. ES Solar sponsors our extra points. 37 to 7. Now we just need Bo Johnson to smack one through the uprights. Yes, and talking to Bo Johnson, Carter, um, the earlier this week at practice, I went and had a chance to visit nice. with some of the players, and I asked him how far he was hitting his practice field goals from, and he, he's hit some over 50 yards. Wow. So he's got quite a leg. Oh, yeah. He's also a starter on the soccer team. He's been a starter since he was a freshman. If I've learned anything from um, Morgan football is, you know, don't judge them by their size. I mean, we're big this year. I mean, but mostly in years past, we've been kind of smaller. Bo Johnson, small guy, big leg. Mm -hmm. uh, Gavin Turner, not a lot of people. He's not assuming, but yeah, he's yeah, one yeah, of the Not a lot of people look up to state. him, but they look up to him, if you know what I mean. I, I you know do, what I'm exactly. saying? Like, I look up to Gavin Turner, I even though too. I look down, right? <laughs> yeah, I do, too. He's, he's a great guy, team captain, two-year team captain. Yep. He's got a heart of gold. And hands like butter, meaning in a good yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, soft meaning like butter. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. You gotta have soft hands if you're a receiver. <laughs> it's a return by oh. Zach Nilsson is wanted to take that to the house. There's flags all over the place. Yeah. Swift kick returned by number three of the Trojans. Zach ran back that back about field. 45 yards. Let's see what all these flags are about. So next Thursday, we'll broadcast the JV game. Are we playing Pocatello this week? No. This week, we're playing Mountain View. So on Friday, oh. we'll have a ho our first home game against Mountain View, 5A school from Utah. And then also, Morgan's preseason games this year are tough. They're bigger schools, yeah. bigger classifications. And I think Coach Barlow likes that schedule. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. we're playing at Pocatello. We're playing at Madison High School against Pocatello on Saturday, August 27th. That's okay. a 2 o'clock start. Whoa. I've been in contact with the athletic directors up there. And the we Madison will be Cats. <laughs> Is that what they are? I think so. Okay. Yeah, me and my friends, we, we always thought that was funny. They were called the Cats. But I like that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. We are going to bring you that game. I don't know if you're able to make that, Carter. but uh, I'll make it happen. Okay. We'll, we'll be <laughs> up in, it, uh, in bringing oh, you, you Trojan fans, that game. What was the penalty, Carter? I don't know. I really, I kind of haven't been watching for like 20 I or 30 seconds. I should have paid I think it was <laughs> on, I think it was on them because, uh, well, they're still debating on where to place the ball. I, anyway, it's Morgan Ball. Yeah. Nick Despain is still in at quarterback. You know, I think, I think that's a great move, honestly. Brogan like Garrett is a wide receiver along with number 85. Okay. Sweet. Luke, that's Luke Wheeler. Ty's brother. Okay. It's exciting. I I think is that 85, Carter? I can't. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize he was in high school. <laughs> yes. It's Man. a handoff. Ta time's an interesting thing. Handoff to Avon. Or is that 89? Okay. Uh, my apologies. It's 89. Tate Steele. That's Tate Steele, sophomore. Sorry, Tate. <laughs> Number 89. His sister, Caitlin, is on the tennis team. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous tennis player. Yeah, ten Morgan Steel. Tennis has really upped their game. They have uh, two state championships. Yeah, right? boys, I mean, even the boys, uh, I used to play tennis back in high school, and we used to always, our chant was, we'd say banner, because we never, <laughs> we're like the only thing, I think, in the whole high school that didn't have a, a That's banner. That's still true. I thought they got one this year. Not I thought boy. they got region. Well, oh, okay. I was thinking. State. Oh, that's what we're yeah. going. That's that's all we were going for. Yeah. Was, okay. was region. <laughs> start start somewhere. Here's yeah. to Spain. Throws it out and no incomplete pass intended for. Pass intended for number 16 of the Trojans. Shifty, no good. Brings up third and ten. 
Third down, 10 yards to go for the Trojans. Rolling clock. Yep. Scores 37-7 for the Trojans. Number 10, Jack Despain is in the game. We've also got number two, the other number two. Oh, Beck Sheffield is in? Yeah. Beck Sheffield is a sophomore. He, along with Jack, they're both sophomores. That's awesome. Is that Nick that's in at quarterback, or is it Beck? Um, they both wear number two. Oh, is he a quarterback? I think that's... Uh, it, it's not Nick, I don't that's think. That's Beck. Beck Sheffield in at quarterback for the Trojans. Sophomore. Apologies, they have the same number. <laughs> His heart's probably racing like a million miles an hour. He takes the that's ball an awesome and runs thing. with it. Picks up five yards. Probably his first varsity snap, right? <laughs> Probably. That's he, awesome. He was in on the last, on okay. this whole oh, series. Oh, but okay, I, I yeah. thought it was Nick because had the same Yeah, number, so yeah. Sorry about that. That's awesome. Sorry, Adam and Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Here we get to see Morgan's first punt of the season. Talon Marble at the Bears' 40-yard line to receive the punt here. Kick is off, a nice punt, spiral. Hey, who's our punter? I think it's Bo Johnson. Oh, okay. No, that was Gavin. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That is was that Gavin. Gavin? <laughs> Gavin kicked that. Yeah. It's either Gavin or Bo. They, they both have punted a little bit last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't know if there was another number 11, no, too. So not. I was like, yeah. Okay. Let's look and see who we have in on defense, Carter. We have number 13 in. That's Bo Spins. Oh, wow. Defensive back, <laughs> number 11. Yeah, Bo I was going to say, he kind of looks like Brock. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> and Coy. Yeah. Coy just got home from his mission in yep. Africa. Saw him at Heinz. Oh, yeah. A place to eat and get gas. Heinz Country Store off exit 96 in Peterson, Utah. You can get your dear cowboy shirts, hoodies, stickers, dirt spot shirt stickers, drinks, ice cream, candy. There's a flag on the play. Um, what else can you get at Heinz? Um, Chocolate milk. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, for those of you who have stuck with us here in the fourth quarter, if you go into Heinz and mention the score of today's game, you will receive a free ice cream cone. So go, in the s go into Heinz tomorrow, mention that you heard it on the Morgan Sports Network. Heinz Country Store will give you a free ice cream cone. Mention nice. the, s the score. and. Uh, I still never did that last year. <laughs> well, you should. You knew all the scores. I know, right? You did start changing your oil there, so that's True. good. Yeah. So we've had some uh, Jiffy Fast plays by Jiffy Lube. This this quarter is Jiffy Fast. Yeah. And we're in the Robinson Waste Services junk time. I appreciate that all the different players are getting the, this varsity experience, though, at, at Bear River under the lights. Oh Friday yeah. night mm -hmm. lights, Carter. Got to love it. We better get serious about our uh, players of the game here with I a, a running clock and yeah. six minutes. So Can we see right now? Or I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Maybe a second? Um, I don't think anyone out right now is gonna is probably going to get the award. I mean, maybe unless not. something crazy happens. But we'll, we'll still leave it open. <laughs> we'll leave it a little bit open. Yeah. And I want to <laughs> see who made that tackle. It was this. Uh, you need to see him. Try. I think it was number 13 that made that tackle. Bo spins. Good job, Bo. Nice. Number 30 is near to us. That is Miller Beardall, number 30. Saw his grandpa in the temple this week. That's great. Bug just flew in my eye. Hand off to Titan Jones, and they pick up on the first down for the Bears. We're 32 Bears. in for the Trojans. That's Rhett Ball Barker. So, Carter, I'm turning to my page Kay. of uh, awards. We have a Bingham's Bomb to give out for a player of the game. They'll get a gift certificate. We have our Academy Mortgage Most Outstanding Player from each team. Pass complete. Tackle made by Miller Beardall. And then we have our Morty's Clean Play of the Game. They'll receive a gift certificate for a free car wash from Morty's Car Wash, located in South Weber. They have the latest technology. Monthly passes available, fleet passes, big bays for your self-service. Also have touchless and soft-touch mm -hmm. bays. It's a, they have, it's a great car wash. I 
I'm an almost a daily user. That's awesome. You get that unlimited pass and you just kind of go freestyle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like this play where Jepson steps yep. out of bounds. Chased out of bounds by number 53, Cooper McGiven. So, so Carter, who, yeah. who are you liking? You, you pick, Man, this is why don't you pick the Bacon Bomb player of the game and I'll pick the Morty's Car Wash and then we'll each together choose the Academy Mortgage player of the games. Wait, so what's the, so the, the difference between the Bacon <laughs> Bomb and the player of the game is like kind of The Bacon like Bomb is for uh, just whatever we feel. Okay. You're, you're in charge right now. Um, the gift certificate I have right here with me it says player of the game. You might see a touchdown here. Nope, overthrown. But um, I want to I want to give the bomb to Ty Wheeler just because I feel like that little sequence he had was awesome. You know, like lots it. of pressure all game. You know, big sack um, by uh, clear down there on like the four yard line or whatever it was. And then ran it in. I mean, I think that deserves a bacon bomb, if anything. I love that. I think that is a great play. And I'm going to give the the clean play, highlight of the game, to number seven, Jimmy Savage, for his blocked punt and safety. And uh, That was clean. It was a block, so you had the uh, Dr. Hansen's <laughs> Northern Utah Dermatology <laughs> block. Yeah. Remember your son block and a safety, and it's just a clean play. Yeah. Congratulations to number seven, Jimmy Savage, for the... Morty's car wash, clean play of the game. I'm going to give you, like, I've got, like, four in mind for the other one, okay? okay. They all got an argument, okay? So we got Salmon, new to Morgan, first game in a Morgan uniform, one touchdown, some big runs early off. And here's a big run by Bear River. He might go all the way. Nope. Stopped on the two one-yard line. That was number 27, Ryder Waldron in for the... Knocks him down along with uh, number number seven, Jimmy Savage was involved there. Okay, give me give me a couple yeah. of names. So, so we're gonna pick a Morgan player and a Bear River player. Yeah. Okay. So Salmon, uh, Moore, you mentioned Moore. Moore was definitely an influence there on the defensive line, and this might oh, and he's just short. Morgan stops him, so no touchdown yet for Bear River. So we have Moore, Salmon. Uh, I was going to say Gavin and Nick as well. Lots of connections there. Nick, a really ef efficient game. No turnovers. Just like looks so comfortable and confident out there. Totally led his team. And, you know, just all around great game by him. And then Gavin Turner with like a miracle catch on the one yard line. And, you know, like multiple 30 yard catches. I mean, I think all four of those have their uh, argument for the Absolutely. For that. I agree with everything that you just said. To hand off, and the Trojans do not want the Bears to score here. Nice yes, defensive stop there. Tackle made by number 52. Carter Mabus. Nice. Nice. Um, what about for Bear River, Carter? Who do you like? Uh, uh, probably Marble. Number 15, Tal yeah, Marble. Yeah, Marble played well. One minute and 12 seconds to go in the in the game. Here's Jepson back. He's under pressure. Throws it into the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Bears. Touchdown. Nice play. Seven, Owen. Olson. Owen Olson with the catch and the touchdown for the Bears. So um, Carter, let's pick uh, our Academy Mortgage play, most outstanding player. Oh, it's hard. Those are all such so good hard. choices. I know. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have made Why it such a wide so variety. Hard? I mean, I like Nick to Spain, Gavin Turner, Sean Moore, Jet Salmon. You Those know, are kind of my top. Four I think as maybe well. maybe not Nick this game. Well, because he didn't play like the whole game, so maybe leave <laughs> it for another. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I do. Because he's definitely going to be getting some of these awards this year. So, I mean, he played so well, but. Uh, Jet I Salmon had a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Carried the ball nine times for almost 60 Honestly, yards. Like, I kind of liked what you were saying with, with, the, with Moore. Cade Moore? Yeah. Like, he had multiple yeah, not Cade. Cade. What's his first not name? Cade. Sorry, Sean. Yeah, Sean. Should we go with Sean Moore for the player of the game for the Trojans? Yeah. Sean Moore. I like it. You know, new face on the defensive line, right? He didn't, he didn't start last year or anything, right? 
Yeah, you guys will definitely be here in a Nick, uh, Gavin, and uh, Salmon for some of these awards later in the year or throughout the year. Absolutely. So, yeah, but great game by. Congratulations uh, to Sean, Sean Moore. Moore for his outstanding defensive effort there. Had multiple tackles, provided a lot of pressure on the Bear River quarterback, and just played, really was a, a leader on the oh line yeah, there for, sure. for the Trojans. Helped set up, he was involved in a lot of tackles, helped set tie up to get that QB sack you know, and, and the bacon. And bomb. he just looks the part. He looks like a D lineman, you <laughs> he know. He, he's out there, you know. I would not want to get hit by him. Yeah. I'll tell you who I would not want to tackle is the Muley Bear. Neither would I. Count me out. We'll stay up here. Yeah. I know, right? Here's the. Return by Zach Nelson. Oh, just Cuts the middle. go. Ooh, stays on his feet. I don't know why I get so nice excited on every there. return. I think they're going to go all the way every time. <laughs> I, know, I don't play. <laughs> 50 seconds to go in a running clock situation. Might be uh, time to kneel it out. See if Morgan takes the victory formation here. Well, Daniel, thanks for not predicting it perfect. So we know you didn't have the crystal ball, but we, we knew that you – we knew that you knew it was going to be 37 to 14. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our Instagram at Morgan Sports Network where we have Rachel Anderson who's going to do some interviews of some of the Morgan players. I have asked her to interview Ty Wheeler, ask him about that QB sack. Yeah. We'd like to maybe, we'll, maybe we'll hear from some of the other players, but congratulations to our Bingham's Bomb player of the game, Ty Wheeler, our Academy Mortgage Most Outstanding Players, Sean Moore, number 41 for Morgan, and Bear Rivers, number 15, Talon Marble. Our yep. Morty's car wash clean player, highlight of the game, number seven, Jimmy Savage, with the block, punt, and a safety. Something tells me that Jimmy might need a car wash, too. You know, he, <laughs> might, he might be. The t I feel like he's the type of guy to go drive around in the mud. You there's know? The, there's <laughs> our uh, highlight there for uh, Ty Wheeler, the Bingham Bombs oh, yeah. player of the game. Ty Wheeler, congratulations on that. We hope you share that with your friends and family. <laughs> Go with the powder keg, I'd recommend it, but they're all just dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Binghams, for being a sponsor. We thank all of our sponsors who have helped make Morgan Sports Network possible. Academy Mortgage, Brett Mills, Benjamin Brown with Cornerstone Real Estate, Northern Utah Dermatology, Dr. Daniel Hansen, Binghams Custom Meats, Hooked Up Plumbing, Heinz Country Store, and Heinz Automotive, Wardell Brothers Construction, Gardner Development, STF Electric, CSI Drywall, Mountain Green Dental, Dr. Ben Clark, k &L Acoustic and Drywall, X-Balm, Extreme Lip Protection Made in the USA. Carter, I'm bringing you some X-Balm next game. X-Balm.com. I've, I've got my X-Balm right here in my pocket, showing it to the fans. <laughs> There's my X-Balm. Oh, yeah, nice Get clean case. Get Extreme. Morty's Car Wash. ES Solar, Zach Randall, Robinson Waste Management. We got some Robinson Waste Management waste time there, junk time. Yep, yep. We appreciate their new sponsorship. Jiffy Lube, Jiffy Fast fourth quarter there. Jiffy Lube with locations in South Ogden and Riverdale, locally owned and operated. Oil changes, tires, those kind of things. Shirts to a T, Golden West Credit Union, Randall Brothers Construction, Roger and Ryan Randall. Also, a uh, fun fact, Roger and Ryan are Nick Despain's uncles. Yep. So that's fun, keeping it in the family. Right Alsh Electric, Oakland Construction, and Pobantz Orthodontics. And should we share the final score so they know what to say to Heinz? So 37 to 14. Yep, take that to, to Heinz, Heinz get an ice yeah. cream cone. Well, for all of us at the Morgan Sports Network, including myself, Carter Thackeray, Mike Despain, David Halls, Ryan Turner, Dylan Despain, Austin Barlow, Hiram Graham, Sam Halls, Ben Brown, and Daniel Mudrow. We appreciate you watching the Morgan Sports Network. Tune in next Thursday for the JV and freshman games, and then next Friday we'll be at home. Those are home, also a home game against Mountain View at Morgan, our first home game. So for those of you from around the globe or around the corner, thank you. Carter, any parting thoughts? I had a great way to start the season. That's all I got. Very good way to start the season. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you for watching.